Hey everyone, I'm Julia and welcome back to Crocoblock channel. If you've been following us for some time, you might know that we have lots of WooCommerce tutorials. For your convenience, we've gathered them into a separate playlist of WooCommerce store from scratch. So we already built different pages like product page, category page and my account page. Yes, we have a checkout page tutorial, but this time we will create a different layout. That was a very simple page design in the previous video and you can stick to it. Or if you want some fresh ideas, something that is a bit complicated yet way more attractive, just keep watching. By the way, if you are new to our channel, please consider subscribing and don't forget to hit the notification bell. And now, let's get started. Instead of putting users through a boring, never-ending list of fields, you can create a better user experience by splitting the checkout process into short steps. A multi-step structure helps customers feel more comfortable during the payment as they understand which step of the process they are in. To create a multi-step checkout, we will create a template for a checkout page, then add Jetwoo Builder checkout widgets, save them as templates, and finally place them inside tabs widget. Before we begin, please make sure that you have Jetwoo Builder and JetTabs plugins installed. So, let's start with creating templates for the checkout page. And basically, this page consists of checkout top and checkout main template. Go to your website's dashboard, Crocoblock, Web Page Builder. Hit the Add New Template button. Select Checkout from the drop-down list and name the template. For example, Checkout Top Template. Once you click on the Create Template button, you will be redirected to the Elementor page editor. To see the list of available widgets that you can use for the checkout page, simply start typing Checkout in the Elements search bar. While the main checkout template is responsible for displaying the main checkout form, checkout coupon form, checkout login form, and all other Elementor widgets won't work properly in the main checkout template. But you can display additional forms in the top checkout template. Checkout coupon form, checkout login form, and all other Elementor form widgets will work just fine here. On the other hand, other Jetwoo Builder checkout widgets won't be displayed correctly in the top template. So, for the checkout top template, we can use only checkout login form and checkout coupon form widgets. I will apply both of them and also add a heading. That's it. Publish your template. Now go back to the dashboard. And let's create one more template for the checkout page and name it Checkout Main Template. First of all, let's add four sections. You can use the rest of the checkout widgets for this template. Just drop the necessary widgets to each section. I will use Billing Form, Shipping Form, Order Review, and payment. Feel free to add widgets here and style them so it better suits your website. As we're building a multi-step checkout, we also need tabs. I'm gonna add one more section and apply tabs widget. Actually, tabs is a very powerful widget. You can use it for displaying any content. For example, if you unfold a tab, and set content type to editor, you will be able to insert a text manually, add an image, or pull any data with the help of dynamic tags. However, my goal is to put all these four sections inside tabs. Firstly, I will save each of the sections as templates. Click on the Edit Section button and select Save as Template. I suggest you name the templates according to the widgets so it's easier to find them. 
For example, my first section has billing form widget, so I'll name it Checkout Billing. Click Save and repeat the same steps with the rest of your sections. And now, once they're saved as templates, we can delete all sections except for the one with tabs from our checkout main template. Let's get back to tabs widget. First of all, you can make it active, so this tab will be the first one to be shown. You can also set an image, select any other icon, upload your own one, or delete an icon if needed. And by the way, if you're using tabs for the first time, you can check our detailed video overview. As for the content type, set it to template. Now in the choose template, select the one that you need. As I named all four templates checkout plus the name of the template, I can just start typing checkout and it will show all of them. For example, I will use a billing template for the first tab. And here is a section that I previously saved as template. Now two more steps. Of course, set the name of your tab. And what we also need is control CSS ID. An ID is an essential component to anchor links. It's a glue that connects the existing element and the source outside. My multi-step checkout will have buttons inside the tabs. If you don't need them, feel free to style your tabs, save everything and proceed to the next part of this video using the timestamps. So a button will redirect us to the next tab or previous one, so control CSS ID is needed to create a link for a certain tab. Set an ID. For example, the first one will be billing details. And now repeat all the steps for the rest of your tabs. Selecting a template, then setting a tab's name and adding CSS ID. I also suggest you open any text editor like Notepad and copy your control IDs in the right order. And we will need them a bit later. All right. To adjust tab's position, go to the settings block. You can set tab's position to left, right, top or bottom. And also you can set a different show effect. Feel free to change the tab's event, disable or enable auto switch, active tabs and use Ajax. Styling options can be so different here. Under the general, you can style the whole tabs column. Tabs control is for the top part of the tabs. Tabs control item for the inner elements of the tabs like icons and text. Tabs content is for the actual content of the tabs, but we don't actually need it as we have templates here. Let me show you one option of how you can style your tabs. Let's go to Tabs Control and set both alignments to Stretch. Now proceed to the Control item. If you have icons or image, you can adjust their width and position here and also adjust margin. As I don't have any additional elements, I will go straight to the State styles. First of all, I will set colors that match my website's theme. Gray color for the normal state, now this blue one for the hover, and white color for the active state. And don't forget to change the font and size. And I will also add a background color for the active state. So once a tab is active, it will have a black background. Inactive tabs will be gray. Ok, so you can also adjust padding and margin. And the next steps are optional, but I will also add border and adjust padding in the tabs content. Once you are satisfied with the result, publish your template. Ok, now the hardest part. So we have those CSS IDs now, right? It's time to use them. 
to add buttons or any other elements or customize your template, you can click on this Edit Template button or you can go back to the dashboard, Template, Saved Template. Here are all four templates that I created for my checkout page. Let's open the first one, Bill Inform Template. A tab with this template will have just one button on the right. I will search for the button widget and drop it under the billing form. Now in the button link bar, insert a link to your checkout page. In my case it will be zalden slash checkout slash. And after that, add a number sign. As it will be the first tab, the button should redirect me to the next one. I'm gonna copy the CSS ID of the second tab and insert it right after the number sign. That's it. Of course, style your button, save everything and let's do one more template together. The second one is shipping form and there will be two buttons. A button on the left will have a CSS ID of the first tab and the second button of the third tab. I hope you don't get confused here. Depending on how many tabs you have, all of them will have two buttons except for the first and last tabs. So my last template where I have a place order button leads back to the third tab with the order details widget. Once you've added the necessary buttons and styled everything, let's finally assign the checkout template to the page. Go to WooCommerce, Settings, Jetwo Builder tab. Scroll down to Checkout section. First of all, enable custom checkout and then select the templates for the main checkout template and for the checkout top. And don't forget to save the changes. And let's see how our checkout page looks. These are my tabs. And as you can see, buttons work just fine here. And by the way, if you have something like this, once you click on the shipping form tab and you want a form to be shown right after you click on the tab, go to WooCommerce, Settings, Shipping. Please check if you have a shipping zone added and also go to Shipping Options and set shipping destination to default to customer shipping address. So guys, now you know how to build an attractive multi-step checkout. If you still have any questions or there was something confusing to you, leave your comments down below or contact our support team. If you enjoyed this video, please give us a like and also don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.